class of 2021, we're so excited to share in this Senior Awards Night video with all of you. My name is Elizabeth Valero. I am your Activities Director, and I am happy to announce my co-host for this evening or this morning, whenever it is that you're watching this video, Mr. Harry Nuremberg. Good evening and good morning, good afternoon, right, as Ms. Valero just said that. But um, we are so proud of all of you who've been asked to come to this program today. It's my pleasure to, adapt, to introduce Mrs. Dobbs, our principal of six years, and this sixth year has been one of the craziest, I imagine. And I just wanted to make sure we announced it today. She was announced Paul Bell PTSA Principal of the Year. And we're all very, very proud of her. Ms. Dobbs? Thank you, Mr. Nirenberg, and thank you, Ms. Valero, for introducing us all. Uh, welcome, everybody. I'm so happy to uh, be with you this evening and get to uh, enjoy the next hour of listening to all the accolades and the wonderful things that our students have accomplished. It is one of the best evenings of the year. I wish that we could be together, but I am absolutely looking forward to our live graduation in person and getting to see everyone. Um, so with that said, let's get started with our, with our award ceremony. Let me introduce to you to Ms. Gina Vinueza, our PTSA president, that will be giving out the PTSA Leadership Awards. Thank you, Ms. Dobbs, and good evening and welcome. The first uh, award that I'm going to be presenting is the PTSA Sponsored Leadership Award. This award recognizes those students that through hard work and diligence show a well-deserved sense of purpose and direction. The ability to lead others is a quality they display in everything they do. They, are, they never sit back and watch the efforts of others without contributing their efforts. For outstanding leadership, Palmetto and the PTSA would like to recognize the following students. Dylan Goldstein, Brooke Jackson, David Spiegelman, and Samuel Zelaya. Congratulations. And next, I'm uh, presenting the PTSA Service Awards. The PTSA Sponsored Service Award is given to students who, in addition to maintaining an excellent academic record, have graciously volunteered in many activities, both in school and within the community. Fairness, energy, and a high degree of capability have characterized their enthusiasm and giving nature. For outstanding service, Palmetto and the PTSA would like to recognize the following students. Emily Cohen, Jared Dwyer, Kayla Clerman, Kimmy Salazis, Juliana Vasquez, and Ethan Wanger. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Vinueza. Next up for, is our PAW Awards, which is going to be presented by, you call him Mr. T, but known as Mr. Telechea. The PAW Award is given to those students who give of themselves. These students are respected by the teachers and classmates for their outstanding character and sense of integrity. They have a genuine desire to make an impact on the school and the Palmetto community by involving themselves in school activities. We would like to recognize the following students. Chloe Pfefferman, Shayna Lehman, Matias Levy, Jake McCreary, Sydney Rouvier, Miranda Shapiro, and Jason, oh, Jesse Weingarten. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. T. And now to present our core value awards, one of our assistant principal, Mr. Danny Barreras. Uh, the core value award is given to those students who give of themselves while upholding our core values of honesty, cooperation, integrity, kindness, fairness, responsibility, respect, citizenship, and pursuit of excellence. They epitomize what being a Panther is all about. The Core Values Award is presented to Jessica Fox, Steven Gomez, Marianne Gonzalez, Violeta Gonzalez, 
Seth Kessler, Crystalie Mostarzade, Sophia Vinueza, Taylor Welpley, and Ryan Bauza. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Barreras. And now up for the Viz Persientium, another one of our amazing assistant principals, Ms. Tavaye. The Viz Persientium Award recognizes academic excellence. Palmetto's motto, Strength Through Knowledge, has guided the following students in their pursuits as they excel in the classroom and beyond. The Viz Persientium Award is awarded to the following students. Priscilla Bermudez, Jacob Grinstaff, Michelle Guan, Carrie Ishwarren, Spencer James, Jake Rosner, Ella Sleeman, and Ariel Trotz. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Del Valle. And now we're going to start with our departmental awards. And to kick us off with our very first departmental award is um, the Achievement Award presented by Ms. Arias. The recipient of the Achievement Award this year goes to a student that has shown great strides academically and behaviorally since he started in the ninth grade at Miami Palmetto High School. He has exhibited the characteristics of a true leader this school year and has become a role model in the classroom. I would like to present the Achievement Award to Dylan Santos. Thank you, Ms. Arias. Coming up next is our Art Award, Dr. Solomon. Thank you, Mr. Nuremberg. Greetings, everyone. The senior who is being honored here tonight is not only talented and hardworking, but a leader amongst her peers. This year, she served as the vice president of the National Art Honor Society and has done so with great responsibility and commitment. She is also a dedicated artist as her work has delved into the study of human emotions through the exploration of complex mythological paradigms. Additionally, her paintings won the Congressional Art Competition and will be displayed in Washington, D.C. This year's recipient of the Visual Arts Award goes to Juliana Navarro. Congratulations. Harry, that's yours. Sorry. Okay, the sorry. Capstone. Yeah, we skipped business. So okay, I'll sorry. Next up is our representative from the Capstone program. We call him Mr. Corradino, but you call him Dino. And here is Mr. Corradino. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Harry. Um, I will be presenting the uh, Miami Palmetto Senior Capstone Award. AP Capstone is a diploma program from the College Board. It is based on two year-long AP courses, which are AP Seminar and AP Research course. Rather than teaching subject-specific content, these courses develop student skills in research, analysis, evidence-based arguments, collaboration, writing, and presenting. Students who, who complete this two-year program can earn one or two different AP Capstone degrees, which are valued by colleges across the United States and around the world. Um, that said, uh, this year I'll be presenting awards to two special students. Um, when you get to spend junior year with students in AP research, you kind of really get to learn a lot about what that particular student is, is all about, you know, about as much as you can learn in a classroom setting. You learn, um, you know, who takes their work serious, who makes their work a point of pride. You learn who has genuine interest in the research topics and methods. Um, those who are conscientious in their work and see through a year long process of planning, implementation and defense of their work. And when I think of these two names, specifically these two, I'm reminded of the love phrase, Incepta perficium, which means I will do to perfection what I have started. And that is what these two capstoners definitely do. I have no doubt that both still have a lot of perfection to do in the world once they leave the hallowed halls of good old Palmetto for the hallowed halls of their colleges. Both students represent all the qualities that I've said. And even though I've, they represent those qualities together, they definitely do have their own personalities, which make our interactions throughout, the, uh, throughout last year and our conversations last year and even this year so much the richer. This year's Capstone Senior Awards goes to Samantha Berlan and Jacob Gunderson. Congratulations, neither one of you changed one bit and good luck next fall. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Corradino. And now to present our awards in dance, our award in dance, we have Miss Bally Logan. Thank you, Miss Valero. The dancer winning the dance department award for the 12th grade has been a dancer of mine for two years now. And within these two years, I have been able to see her go above and beyond to do what needs to be done for her team. Whether it's one of the big tasks, like choreographing a dance, cutting music, or rummaging through the costume closet to find costumes that fit everyone, or a small, small thoughtful task like making ornaments for the team, meeting with even logging onto Zooms to help other girls with their dances. This student is always there for anybody on the team who has needed her. Every day she comes into the dance room, she gives me 100% of her energy. She's always focused and helps out in any way that she can. Congratulations, Melissa Guillen. I'm so proud of the leader you have become. Congratulations on winning the Dance Department Award for the 12th grade. Thank you, Logan. So next up is our drama, Miss Barson. In order to choose our top seniors in acting and technical theater, we look at their entire high school career in drama. And the three honorees this year are perfect examples of four years of dedication, drive, and talent. All three of today's recipients will stay connected to drama in college. The first award is for technical theater. For four years, this senior has worked behind the scenes. He has elevated our performances by studying and teaching his fellow students how to apply their makeup and style their hair in a way that is appropriate to the time period of the show. He has designed our wigs, often bringing in some from his personal collection. While only a sophomore, he traveled with us to Tampa as the makeup and wig master for our production of The Drowsy Chaperone. He has competed in makeup competitions as both an individual and on full production teams, always earning high scores, and this year he was chosen as the best, a top honors recipient for the Florida State Regional Festival Competition. Before the pandemic shuttered our theaters, he attended Broadway shows regularly and studied them. One of his favorite hobbies is taking a show and reimagining it with a new creative concept, that is the work of a true designer. He is currently leading a class project reimagining James and the Giant Peach. During Drowsy, I brought in a friend who was a retired Broadway wardrobe manager of over 30 years. She was so impressed with him that I had to stop her from calling on her friends in New York trying to get him a job right now. We all agreed that he needs to attend college first, but watch out in four years. In the fall, he will be attending his dream school, the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, where he was accepted into the very prestigious and extremely selective wig and makeup program. I will never forget meeting him on the first day of his freshman year when he looked up and said, Hi, I'm Logan Esco, and I'm going to be a wig maker on Broadway. And I have no doubt that this is 100% true. The Senior Award for Excellence in Technical Theater is awarded to Logan Esco. I have a lot of dedicated students, but every now and then you come across that one student who goes so far above and beyond what you have come to expect. Due to his schedule and an after-school internship, he was not able to enroll in my two-period musical theater class, so he has always been in my fifth-period class. However, he wanted to learn as much as he could, and two years ago, he came to me to ask if he could audit the class. He arranged it with his teacher, and his job agreed to let him start after our school and rehearsals ended. He agreed to attend every class, every rehearsal, and complete every assignment, even though he would neither receive credit nor a grade. I knew it was a big risk, but I agreed, and we never looked back. Not once did he ever disappoint. Quite the contrary. If a grade was earned, it would be straight A's. Never an excuse, never cutting a corner, and always grateful for every opportunity. Recently, he held leading roles in both classes' productions, and he became a leader in every way. This fall, he auditioned for many prestigious BFA acting programs. The BFA, or Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, is audition-based and extremely competitive, Top schools often only accept six or seven males in a year. 
He was accepted into four of these programs, which is a very impressive amount. And he has, a cho he has chosen to attend Florida State University for a BFA in acting. The first senior award for excellence in theater is awarded to Nick Harris. Now, just like the Tony Awards, we also have our Outstanding Actress Award recipient. This talented young lady impressed me so much in her freshman year, not because of a part she got, but because of how she handled what she didn't get. You see, that's one of the most important things we learn in theater. She came in as a gifted singer, but was not cast in Drowsy. So she came to me and asked how she could get involved. We put her in the sound booth, and she learned to run sound. The following year, she went with us to Tampa and ran the sound in a huge theater that seats over 3,000 people with one other student. I cannot explain the stress in that job, and what they accomplished was unbelievably professional. The next year, she got her chance in the spotlight, and it was noticed, not only by us, but she was nominated in the Best Supporting Actress category for the regional level of the National High School Musical Theater Awards, known as the Jimmies. And apparently, all of that was just a warm-up for this year. This year, she is our Thespian Honor Society president. She will be attending Davidson College as a posse finalist. She is pre-med, yet earned an audition-based theater scholarship. She earned her gold award in Girl Scouts. She is our Silver Knight nominee for drama, and she has helped me run every virtual production all year and is overseeing a recruitment video for our program before she graduates. As you can see, she will leave a huge gap when she leaves us. The final Senior Award for Excellence in Theater is awarded to none other than Brianna Suarez. Congratulations. Now to present our award in family consumer science and also in health science, we have Ms. Michelle Yuli. When you describe the characteristics that you want in an early childhood teacher, this young lady exudes every one of them. She is creative, caring, passionate, patient, kind, and eager to have children learn and develop through exploration and imagination. She came into the program in ninth grade, and I knew from our first conversation that she was going to be essential and stellar in the program. Her level of responsibility and initiative is far beyond her age, and her love for teaching shines through in her assignments and in her field work. Although she is MSO this year, and we have not been able to incorporate the field experiences into the course, she has found a way to continue her work. She volunteers at a preschool to earn hours towards her CDA, which is the industry certification and national accreditation. She also works there several days a week after school. She's a member of the Florida Future Educators of America and is going on to pursue early childhood education at Florida Gulf Coast University. She is going to be an amazing teacher, and I'm so excited to see her continue to develop and pursue her passion. The outstanding senior for family and consumer science in early childhood goes to Juliana Medina. And now presenting on behalf of Mrs. Brislon, this young lady has been hardworking and, and a dedicated student in the Health Science Academy. She is the president of the HOSA, Health or Occupational Students of America, and a member of the LEO Club, SODA Club, which is the Student Organ Donor Advocate Club, HIV Peer Educators, No Place for Hate, PSI Alpha, Alliance Club, and the Pep Squad. She has placed every year since ninth grade in the HOSA medical competition. This year, she competed at HOSA state competition in clinical nursing and placed fifth. Her willingness to help others and strive for, per for perfection will make her an excellent healthcare provider. This award goes to Julia Diaz. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Yuli. And up next is our world language department head, Ms. Marseille. Thank you, Mr. Nuremberg. Hello and welcome to our award night, or day, or afternoon. I want to take this opportunity to personally congratulate our graduating class, but particularly the award recipients here tonight who I've known for years. In many cases, I've taught since the ninth grade. Kudos to you. It's great to see the young and old versions of the people you're in your way to become. You really rock. 
And now for a recipient. The student can actually say in her ancestral language, Vidi Vidi Vinci. A recent transplant, she managed conquering English in record time. She enrolled in honors and AP classes just as fast. I have seen the carefully systematic approach she infuses in her studies, always appearing quiet and relaxed while determined to reach her goals through hard work and determination. Last year, she tackled advanced placement Spanish language coursework and got a score of five in the college board exams. Now, in her senior year, she has fully embraced the AP Spanish literature course, the highest level in a foreign language offered in a high school setting, while maintaining straight A's all across subjects. And what an impressive schedule. No underwater basket weaving for this girl. Always, always forward for her. The Outstanding Foreign Language Senior Award in the area of AP Spanish Literature and Culture goes to La Signorina Liana Chiavano. Felicitaciones, Chiana. Thank you so much, Ms. Marseille. And now to present uh, Mr. Hayduck, who will be presenting the awards in Forensic Investigative Academy, IPREP, and Social Science. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for having us. It is such a great opportunity to, pre to present these awards. The first award that I wanted to pre present today is going to be the FIA Student of the Year. The FIA program was started in 2015 as a strand of the AP Capstone program. This program is based on the scientific inquiry through observation, collection, and classification of data. Currently, Miami Palmetto Senior High School is one of the only schools in the country to have an MOU with the FBI, um, what a prestigious organization. This young lady, today's winner, has shown great poise since her very first day on campus. Since her ninth grade year, she has always pushed herself academically by taking numerous honors and advanced placement courses. Within the FIA program, she has taken the lead on many projects with fellow students, ranging from toy drives to assisting with guest speakers. When many students are looking to the future, tonight's recipient has been concerned about the present. Instead of taking courses that may be viewed as a little less rigorous, she has continued to push herself by taking courses in her passion of forensic science. Her insightful and inquisitive nature has led her to become a leader for many of the labs and projects in the classroom. This young lady has meant so much to the FIA program, and I hope she realizes the positive impact she has had on so many, including myself. It is my honor to present the FIA Student of the Year to Caitlin Givens. The recipient of the IPREP Student of the Year is a member of the program that was started six years ago. The IPREP Academy is a cutting edge concept developed by Miami-Dade Superintendent Dr. Alberto Carvalho that targets the 21st century learner. Today's recipient has excelled in and out of the classroom. Academically, she has excelled by taking many upper level courses, ranging from advanced placement psychology to advanced placement government and economics. As a member of the IPREP Academy, this young lady has been perfect. You see, she has received an A in every IPREP class she has taken over the last four years, which ranges from leadership skills, intro to technology, and has been a model intern logging almost 400 internship hours in the field of accounting. Tonight's winner has been a model student for IPREP and has helped establish standards for the program for many years to come. It is with, a, with great pleasure that I award the IPREP Student of the Year to Emily Hages. For social science, when students arrive on campus as a freshman, many are confused and not sure of their place, but our winner has clearly defined herself in the area of social science. Having been enrolled in numerous social science classes, this individual comes to embody what we believe social science is, a commitment to a global understanding. During her four years at Miami Palmetto, 
She has held herself to the highest of academic standards. As I looked over her schedule, she has taken almost every class offered by social science. The social science department, ranging from advanced placement psychology, economics, government, and many others. She is currently ranked in the top 5% of her class. This individual's dedication goes well beyond the classroom as well. She is always willing to help her fellow classmates lend a helping hand um, with any of the possible required assignments in class. Tonight's winner is a student who has become a lifelong learner, not looking for an instant grade, but hungry for knowledge. This young, lady's, this young lady knows where she wants to go and has the confidence, intelligence, and stamina to get there. This is a student that has truly left Palmetto better than she found it, and I know that she will make the world a better place. It gives me great pleasure to award the Social Science, Social Science Student of the Year to this future Gator, Mia Bermudez. Thank you, Mr. Hayduck. And next up is our Immersion Award with Ms. Sunin. Thank you, Ms. Nuremberg, and good evening to, to the class of 2021. The Senior Immersion Award is presented to an outstanding senior who values the importance of learning English as a second language without shying away from the challenges come, that come from moving into a new country. The senior has exhibited an exemplary commitment to her education while navigating through the socials and cultural demands of being in a new country via Zoom. I'm proud of her for excelling in all her coursework, but most importantly, for allowing herself to celebrate her successes. It is with great honor that I present the Senior Immersion Award to Camila Aquino. Thank you, Ms. Sanin. And next up is our Language Arts Department Chair who will be giving the Language Arts and the Creative Writing Award, Mrs. Spivak. Welcome everyone. F. Scott Fitzgerald said, this is part of the beauty of all literature. You discover that your longings are universal longings and that you're not lonely and isolated from anyone. You belong. This young woman demonstrates her place in the world and stands out as one who, like Fitzgerald, recognizes the power and beauty of language. In fact, she intends to study literature in college next year. For her excellence in expression and her ongoing diligence in AP English Literature class, I proudly present the Outstanding Language Arts Award to Emily Foreman. For the Creative Writing Award, it is no surprise that this woman was voted president of the Creative Writing Club this year. For the past three years, she has been an integral presence in both the club and creative writing classes, where her creativity and drive have shown brightly. She is a person of ideas, and those ideas reveal the eyes, ears, and heart of an artist. It is never enough for artists to simply reflect the world. They use their unique vision to challenge the status quo, something that seems to be in her very blood. Her penchant for writing about social justice, coupled with her natural talent, make her the ideal candidate for this year's Creative Writing Award, and it goes to Juliana Navarro. Thank you so much, Ms. Spivak. And now to present our awards in mathematics, we have Mr. Garcia. Thank you. We recognize students who not only excel in math, but demonstrate persistence in solving difficult problems, are eager to help others understand mathematics, and are enthusiastic about learning math. We took into, we took into consideration participation, attitude, tenacity, teamwork, leadership, and going beyond the school curriculum. The award recipient completed BC Calculus in ninth grade, Calculus III, and the programming class C++ at Miami-Dade College, and also an introductory engineering course at UPenn. He created Explained Inc., a nonprofit which expands free access to quality education through the creation of after-school programs and seminars where participants are exposed to computer science. He's also the founder of Millennium Pages, a free website with easy access articles that students can read and use to study. Mike Su is also our Silver Knight. He will be attending the University of Pennsylvania to pursue a degree in computer science and finance. Congratulations. 
Thank you, Mr. Garcia. And up next is our music award, Miss Lynn. Thank you, Mr. Nuremberg. Hi, everyone. I will be presenting the Senior Music Award and the Paul Smith Award today. This diligent, talented, and goofy musician lives and breathes music. When she is not learning a new instrument, she, focused, she is focused on helping others through music in and outside of school. She dedicates her time as a church worship leader, Tri-M board member, and Pinecrest City Music Project Orchestra teaching assistant. I proudly present the Senior Music Award to Sierra Sue. Congratulations, Sierra. I'm so honored to have been your teacher these past two years. The recipient, uh, the recipient of the Paul Smith Award goes to a student who has shown hard work and dedication through his four years at Palmetto. His eagerness to participate and excel are incomparable and admirable. He's been a part of various ensembles and organizations like Symphonic Band, Jazz Band, Rock Ensemble, Marching Band, Drumline, and the Tri-M Music Honor Society. He is also an accomplished soloist recognized by our district and state, achieving superiors in both categories. It is my honor to recognize Timothy Redon as the recipient of the Paul Smith Award. Congratulations, Tim. Thank you so much, Ms. Lynn. All right, and now to present our award in newspaper, we have Ms. Avilas. The Senior Award in Newspaper goes to a student whose qualifications are impossible to list in just two minutes. And that's because this award represents the culmination of three years of his tireless commitment to our publication, The Panther. Throughout this time, he has remained consistent, reliable, and committed to making our publication the best that it can be. Whether he is breaking online publication records, tirelessly leading staff through this very difficult year, or simply providing much needed comic relief, the recipient is always at the center of what makes newspaper the well-oiled machine he and the rest of the leadership team make it. I'm so incredibly proud of everything he has accomplished throughout his time on staff and the leader that he has evolved into. He will be sorely missed, but I know he is more than ready for this next step in his journey. This year's senior award and newspaper goes to Jack Meyer. Good job, good effort, Jack. Thank you, Ms. Avilas. And up next for PE is Coach Manasco. Good morning, Panther family. As you know, this year has seen its share of difficulties and has made for a very challenging learning environment. Our senior award winner in physical education department adapted well to these challenges to have an outstanding senior year. Through Zoom workouts, NFHS classes, and other online learning platforms, our winner went above and beyond with his participation and enthusiasm. He was also a varsity student athlete who placed sixth at the FHSAA State Wrestling Tournament back in March. Our physical education award recipient is Corey Gallivan. Congrats, Corey. And now to present our award in science, we have Ms. Pam Schlackman. Thank you, and Kaur. Or if Google is correct, that means good evening in Martian. To say this has been a bizarre year is probably quite the understatement. But nonetheless, our science students have managed to set themselves above the rest. Our outstanding science student has taken a full slate of AP courses and has been successful in them. He's been a competitor from Fairchild, debate champion, to NSB, to Envirothon, state champion, and hopefully North American champion. He has served as president for the Science National Honor Society and has been a gem to get to know over the past four years. Our outstanding student in science is Mr. Daniel Perez, and he will be attending Harvard in the fall. Congratulations, Danny. Thank you, Ms. Schlackman. And now to present our award in television production, we have Ms. Downey. Thank you, Lizzie, and welcome, everyone. Television Productions Outstanding Senior is a young man that came into the program as a sophomore after I urged him the entire second half of his freshman year to stay at Palmetto and not attend school for advanced studies at Miami-Dade. His reaction to my excitement when I learned he was staying and would accept the TVP position his sophomore year was priceless because he didn't realize that I had just won the lottery. His talent and drive led him to the president position with no competition even though he prefers to be behind the scenes instead of in front of the camera. 
He continues to this day to lead by example. He's not only super talented when it comes to editing or film recording, but also someone who always offers to assist with any project, even if it's not directly related to TVP. And he is always willing to put in the extra effort without being asked to make sure things are done right. His dedication and constancy set him apart from other students in the class, and he demonstrates the utmost expertise and enthusiasm in everything he does. I am so honored that he epitomizes TVP and that he has made his name known by assisting other teachers and programs within the school, setting up slideshow presentations, public service announcements, movies, and other media related projects. He will continue to expand his editing talents, even though his are some already, some already the best that I've ever seen, um, and acquire new programming skills in college, majoring in computer science. I am sorry to see him go, but no, he will always be there if we need him and can't wait to see what the future holds for him because I know it'll be amazing. I am very proud to present the outstanding Senior TVP Award to Michael Fernandez. Congratulations, Michael. Thank you, Ms. Downey. Well, I can't wait to see this year's yearbook because I don't know how she's going to put it. Up next is our yearbook award, Ms. Huffman. Thank you, Mr. Nirenberg. Hello, Panther family. Ever since I came to Palmetto five years ago, I've had the privilege of being the yearbook advisor and working alongside some amazing and talented students. A student being on staff takes on a lot of responsibilities. But when they are on leadership, they bear a lot of the burden when it comes to getting the book done. Then we have the EICs, where they are managing a staff of 30 plus students, staying in contact with a representative from the publishing company, on the phone all the time with tech support, all the time, looking over proofs, making sure we meet every single deadline, and all the while handling their own core loads of AP classes. This school year, we faced one of our toughest challenges, creating a book during a pandemic and facing all of the obstacles that came along with it. It was not easy, but these two incredible leaders never, not once, gave up on the hope of creating the best yearbook yet. I am in awe of their creativity, their work ethic, the manner they handled themselves whenever an issue came up or even when they had to be quarantined. For this and so much more, I would like to congratulate Olivia Gladster and Jade Pita for receiving the 12th grade award in yearbook. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Ms. Huffman. And now to present some of our scholarships for the year, I'm gonna turn it over to my co-host, Mr. Nuremberg, to present scholarships from the Alumni Association, Tutoring for Tomorrow, and Posse. With us tonight from the Alumni Association, we have former Mayor Lerner of Pinecrest, class of 1970. We have Mayor Cunningham of Palmetto Bay, class of 1981, and Jamie Wasser, class of 1980, here to give out the Alumni Association scholarships. Thank you, Harry, for the introduction. I'm Cindy Lerner, and one of the founding board members for your Palmetto Alumni Association, which was just incorporated in uh, 2012. So although the school is more than 60 years old, an alumni association was not created until uh, close to 10 years ago. Our first scholarship committee was created in 2014. And at that time, we had the opportunity to give out, I, I think our first year was just three scholarships and it was the result of the class of 1961 having their 50 year reunion. And at that time they had monies left over from their reunion weekend and asked us if we would create a scholarship fund and start giving out scholarships. So that's how our scholarship committee and fund began. We get donors. Uh, hopefully every year there is a class reunion out of the many that are held that wants to make a donation toward the uh, uh, scholarship fund. And we have scholarship founders 
who uh, are committed every year to make a donation as well as tutoring for tomorrow. So we are open to and welcome to create new scholarship opportunities anytime anybody wants to make a donation. But we've been successful enough to this year be able to give out six scholarships. And we are very excited to be able to announce them to you now. You want to do it? As this scholarship has grown from three to six scholarships of $1,500, donors have stepped up to increase the number of winning students to supplement their costs for school. We would like to thank Rachel Steubens Wexler, who created the Harry Narenberg Scholarship for a five year period. And Tutoring for Tomorrow has donated monies to allow more scholarships for the past three years. The senior class was offered the opportunity to apply for this wonderful award from people who walked the same halls that we did. All the applicants were strong and wrote insightful essays and had impressive resumes. To me, they are all winners. The Tutoring for Tomorrow and alumni winners for the 2021 school year are Mia Bermudez, who will be attending the University of Florida, Priscilla Bermudez, attending University of Chicago, and Kayla Clerman, attending Davidson. The Alumni Association winners are Daniel Perez, attending Harvard, and Mikey Zhao, attending University of Pennsylvania. And the winner of the, the Harry Narenberg Scholarship is Mackie Hoffman, who's attending the University of Florida. I'd like to thank the Alumni Association for starting this amazing scholarship, Tutoring for Tomorrow, and Rachel Steubens for making this happen. And we'll go back to the ceremony right now. Thank you all for coming tonight, and we truly, truly appreciate you. And with us tonight is Mitch Panter from Panter Panter and San Pedro, who has generously made a contribution for this scholarship for one of our lovely seniors. Good afternoon, Harry, and good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mitchell Panter. I'm an attorney with the law firm of Panter Panter and San Pedro. We've been located on the corner of Kendall Drive and US-1 for almost 30 years now, and we've been proud sponsors of the Panter Panter and San Pedro Scholarship um, at the school for many years. We annually get in a bunch of resumes and review everything. And Mr. Nuremberg is kind enough to provide us with a list of students that are worthy. And I wanna congratulate all of you. We reviewed several different uh, uh, students and, and we are thrilled with the achievements that you all have made. Uh, we made a tough decision this year, but this year's winner of the Panther Panther and San Pedro scholarship is ready now, Ariana Hernandez. Ariana, we're pr proud of you. We're thrilled for you. Um, we know you're going to UF and we know you're gonna make great achievements in your life. Uh, we'll be in touch and it's a $2,000 scholarship. We wanted to give you a little bit of an extra bonus. We wish you the best of luck and congratulations, Ariana. And Mitch, thank you so much for doing this for our kids. I know she will appreciate this so much. And once again, thank you for your continued generosity and support for Palmetto Senior High. It's always So this year has been total unbelievable great year for the students of palmetto your acceptance rates were off the charts scholarships were record high but i want to talk about a couple that just were the very very i'm i'm the most proud of so the first one is our west point appointment taylor welpley a very competitive program to get into and we are so proud of her the next up is quest bridge 18,000 students apply for this. They get 7,000 finalists and 600 winners. And, and Priscilla Bermudez is our winner who's going to the University of Chicago. And finally, our Posse Scholars. Posse is an extremely competitive program which starts out with 1,300 students and goes down to 120 finalists. We had three students final for Davidson and all three won. Brianna Suarez, Kayla Clerman, and Alexis Lopez. And Jacob Grinstaff was our posse winner for Syracuse. 
Class of 2021, we are all so proud of all of your accomplishments. You are an amazing class. You did beyond our expectations. Congratulations. You're muted. Thank Flip you, back. Mr. Nuremberg. And now to present our award, um, our scholarship, excuse me, the Van Wagner Scholarship, I have our photography teacher, Miss King. Thank you. The Clayton Bender Van Wagner Memorial Photography Scholarship Award is given every year to an exceptional senior photography student, one that stands ahead above the rest in talent, dedication, and academics. This year, there are two. I have known these two individuals since they were freshmen and watched them grow up not only as outstanding human beings, but also as outstanding artists. If I were asked to come up with words that describe them, creative would be my first response, followed by kind, passionate, and inspiring. Being the president and secretary of Photo Club, they maintained an unwavering dedication to keeping the club interactive and fun during a year that has thrown out more challenges than anticipated. Still, their love for art has been strongly apparent through it all, not just stopping when photography class ends, but overflowing into their everyday lives. I could not be more proud of these two young ladies, and I cannot wait to see what they accomplish. The winners of the Clayton Bender Van Wagner Memorial Photography Scholarship Award goes to Cassandra Cordoba and Kaylee Nunez. Hello, everyone. Since 1998, we have presented a photography award in memory of our son, Clay, who developed a love for the art while, while in Mr. Friedman's class. We have chosen two outstanding senior photography students for this year's award. Today, we're happy to be able to present a check to each to help toward their photography pursuits. Also, their names will be engraved on the plaque that hangs in the photography classroom. We wish to thank Mrs. King for continuing to guide Palmetto students toward an appreciation for photography and also for her invaluable input in choosing this year's recipients. And now to present the Yvette McKinney Award, our athletic director, Mr. Batten. Hello. Y Yvette McKinney spent 40 years of her life at Palmetto as a teacher, a coach, and an athletic director. She was the first African-American woman to officiate an NCAA women's basketball game. Ms. McKinney cared deeply about sports and even more deeply for the students whom she mentored. For some, Ms. McKinney was a counselor and a second mom. The recipient of this award understands the value of sports and good sportsmanship, as well as the positive role that athletics can play in a student's life. This young man has achieved more than any other football player in our school's history. Here are some of his athletic accomplishments. He led Palmetto to our first regional championship. He was a two-time first-team All-Dade player. He was selected to the first-team All-State team. He was a finalist for the Florida Gatorade Player of the Year. He won the Warren Henry Player of the Year Award and is listed as the number one defensive tackle in the nation. Not only is he a force on the field, but he is also a terrific young man. He is a leader in his community and among his peers. It is my honor to present the Yvette McKinney Award to Leonard Taylor. Okay. And now bringing back to the screen is Mr. Hayduck, who will give out the Carlos Armas Award. Thank you. It is my honor to present the Carlos Armas Award this evening. Tonight's award is more than a plaque or a trophy your family will be able to boast about. Rather, it is the opportunity to promote a legacy. When I was asked to help chair this award 14 years ago, I had no idea how diverse the recipients would become. Tonight's winner, will be a part of a prestigious fraternity that have gone on to be professional athlete, financial analyst on Wall Street, a nurse, a CFO, and a veterinarian oncologist, just to name a few. No pressure. You see, Carlos Armas was a science teacher and baseball coach at Miami Palmetto that shaped the lives of students on and off the field. Mr. Armas was a dynamic educator 
whose hands-on approach inspired students. His joyful disposition and energizing smile attracted students and faculty alike. On the baseball diamond, Mr. Armin, Mr. Armis was a great educator, teacher, and motivator of the game he loved. Carlos was the type of friend you would find, you were lucky to find at least once in your lifetime. You see, Mr. Armis and I were extremely close. <clears throat> However, tragically, Mr. Armis was killed in a boating accident in 2005, leaving behind a wife and unborn son he would never have the opportunity to meet. The Carlos Armas Award is presented to a student who strives for excellence in and out of the classroom and attempts to achieve a great balance in life, never getting too high or getting too low. Tonight's winner cares more about others than himself, which can be demonstrated by his integrity, ethics, morals, and a passion for life that would bring a smile to my dear friend's face. This young man has shown great balance by taking numerous advanced placement courses, including AP Human Geography, European History, Statistics, and many others. He has also been named an AP Scholar. When many seniors are trying to get to the finish line, tonight's winner has been racing to it with a style all of his own. Tonight's winner is currently ranked in the top 10% of his class at Miami Palmetto Senior High and is our Silver Knight for athletics. He was a four-year member of the lacrosse team and was named captain. What makes tonight's winner so unique is not his intellect, but rather his ability to care more about others than himself. It is my honor to present the 2021 Carlos Armas Award and $300 scholarship, courtesy of the Carlos Armas Foundation, to Mutaz Talis. With the class of 2021 being so special, we have selected a second Carlos Armas Award recipient. Tonight's winner has shown over the last four years, legacies are created only one way. They are earned. You see, being the younger sibling can always be a little tricky. You're always following in the footsteps of a successful family member. However, this young lady has done it in a style all her own. And I know my dear friend would have loved her passion and competitive nature as much as I have. Academically, this young lady has pushed herself by taking numerous advanced placement courses, ranging from AP Economics to AP Art 2D. She is currently ranked in the top 4% of her class, and which is very difficult when she has to spend as much time on the court as she does. You see, this legacy, this year's winner started at, my Palm, at Miami Palmetto when she was a freshman assisting this, the tennis team to their first state title in over 30 years. In her final season as a Panther, she helped lead a team of, team of young Panthers to a state runner-up finish, which was an incredible accomplishment. In the fall, this young lady will be taking her academic and athletic talents to Middlebury College. It is my honor to present the 2021 Carlos Armas Award and $300 scholarship courtesy of the Carlos Armas Foundation to Natalie Vanderice. Thank you, Mr. Hayduck. And now to present our Moses Poole Award and our Leonard Glazer Award, Dr. Spiegelman. Moses Poole was an educator who made a difference in the lives of hundreds of young people. He was a man of wisdom, vision, and compassion. The young man receiving this award models these character traits and he has made his mark at Palmetto and his community through his active participation in 5,000 role models, student council, and track and field. The Moses Pool Award goes to Will Ander Jules. The Leonard Glazer Award, in memory of former Palmetto Senior High School principal, Mr. Glazer, honors a student who has overcome adversity, but still achieves in the area of service and academics. This polite, mature, and hardworking individual has earned love and respect from teachers and peers alike because of his genuine personality, intellectual curiosity, and passion for learning. 
we present the Leonard Glazer Award to Tyler Blackman. Thank you so much, Dr. Spiegelman. And now to present the Carol Lee Mallard Award, Mr. Nuremberg. The Carol Lee Mallard Award is presented to a student that epitomizes the unsung hero. Carol Lee Mallard is a former Palmetto Senior High student, service, student services department chair who wore many hats on our campus but was never too busy to lend a helping hand or hear to someone who needs it. Tonight's recipient is no stranger to lending a helping hand. From overseeing his class's finances for the past three years as a treasurer, to the work he has done on his service project collecting pillows with the Chapman Partnership, he does not tire of helping others. You name it and he is there to lend a hand. He is the student and friend that you always want on your team. The Carolee Mallard Award goes to Robbie Mazur. And now up, Ms. Valero is going to give the Andy Massimino Award. Thank you, Mr. Nuremberg. The Andy Massimino Award is presented to a student who shows love and passion for the spirit of Palmetto High and devotes his or her time to the betterment of on-campus activities. This school year did not shape up to be the senior year that most students imagined. After years of preparing for a year of celebration and adventures, the class of 2021 was met with some disappointments. However, when I think about those disappointments, I recall the wins of the year and the moments of light in spite of the dark, because I think of the students that never faltered to make the most out of their situation. That's why this year I am honoring three spectacular ladies who were part of a team of officers that were determined to do what they could with the senior year that they were given. Tonight's recipients made plans for events and ways to honor their classmates despite distance and roadblocks. They made the most out of the no we can'ts and found ways around the it's just not possibles. They managed to throw glitter on a terrible situation and show their classmates that good things were possible. I thank them for their enthusiasm and dedication. I only wish I could have gotten to spend more time with them this year in person, but I'm grateful to them for all they did for their class and me. This year's recipients of the Andy Massimino Award are Riley and Dara, Mackenzie Hawkman, and Alexis Lopez. Congratulations. I will also be presenting the Carl Manzelli Award. The Carl Manzelli Award honors a leader and inspiration from the past days at Miami Palmetto Senior High School. As the former assistant principal, Mr. Manzelli inspired us to do better every day. Tonight, I am honoring two ladies who did just that all year long. As the Chiefs of Senate for our student council, these two young ladies oversaw the work and projects of all of our student council senators. Any event or project was supervised by them. So, if the ball was dropped, they were there to pick it up. They never faltered to get the jobs done, whether the job was theirs or not. They were leaders and team players all year long. I was never worried about anything that we were in charge of because they were there to make sure that things got done to our standards. And in a year where things could have been left behind, they were always there to see that they weren't. I'm grateful to them for their positivity and their leadership. Tonight's Carl Manzelli Awards go to Peyton Mendelbaum and Kyla Finkel. Congratulations. And now to present our Paul Bell Excellence Award, our Assistant Principal, Mr. Hunter. Thank you, Ms. Valero. Good evening, everyone. The Paul Bell Excellence Award is presented to students who exhibit outstanding character, service, and scholarship. Qualities revered by our former Miami-Dade County Public School Superintendent, Paul Bell. These two young people exemplify the three R's of education, responsibility, reliability, and respect. These AP scholars complete tasks in a timely and professional manner and demonstrate integrity. For this, they've gained the respect of their peers and faculty. The Paul Bell Award goes to both Ethan Joseph Berg and Marina Sanchez. Congratulations. And now we will be presenting our magna and summa cum laude students graduating at the top 5% of their class for summa and top 10% of their class for magna.
The Miami Herald Silver Knight Award, one of the nation's most highly regarded student awards programs, was instituted in 1959 by Pulitzer Prize winner John S. Knight, the past publisher of the Miami Herald and founder of Knight Ritter Newspapers. The Silver Knight Awards program recognizes outstanding students who not only maintain excellent grades, but also unselfishly apply their special knowledge and talents to contribute to their school and community. The following students are Miami Palmettos, 2021 Silver Knight nominees. For art, Kaylee Nunez. Athletics, Mutaz Talas. Business, Mackenzie Hockman. Digital and interactive media, Natalie Perez. Drama, Brianna Suarez, honorable mention. English literature, Samantha Berlan. General scholarship, Spencer James, honorable mention. For journalism, Nicole Marcus, honorable mention. For mathematics, Mike Zhao, honorable mention. Music and dance, Savannah Kane. For science, Ellis Lehman. For social science, Robbie Mazur, winner. For speech, Jesse Weingarten. Vocational technical, Kayla Clerman, honorable mention. And world languages, Emily Cohen. Congratulations to all of you. Well, once again, we're giving the microphone back to Ms. Valero to give out the all-around Panther Award. This year's all-around Panther started catching my eye as a student worthy of responsibility in her junior year. She was not chosen as a senator that year, but took my advice and made herself available to help us with events on campus starting that summer. She helped us pack and prepare for the start of the year, and she wasn't even a member yet. So I added her to our Senate. She impressed me and made a difference. That was the day she began making her mark. She has been in charge of special, the special events department of student council for the past year and has given everything we did, despite the challenges of the year, a certain sparkle. There was professionalism and, char and charm in everything she did. Even on the days that I had to be home due to circumstances, she made things happen. I just had to call in, and she made it happen. I was so proud of the work that she did. And as an all-around Panther, she makes her mark all over campus by le taking leadership in NHS, in yearbook staff, and on the lacrosse field. She is everything I think of when I imagine a true blue Panther. I am grateful to her, and I am so excited of the mark she will make on the rest of the world. I want to thank, congratulate, and give a virtual hug to our All Around Panther for 2021, Miss Gabrielle Russo. And now I present to you our senior class sponsor, Mr. Armando Gonzalez, to present our most outstanding senior. I would uh, first like to begin by saying how amazing the last four years of sponsoring the class of 2021 has been. From winning first place in homecoming our freshman year to selling the most class rings, bunk cakes, magazines our junior year, and now being able to see our class shine in our sports, performances, going on to colleges and universities and the armed forces, it truly is the best class I've sponsored in many, many, many years. Uh, that is why choosing just one student as most outstanding senior of the year is almost impossible. Uh, however, this year's recipient has never given up trying to make his dreams come true, even though it may not have been uh, in a straight line. Uh, Garth Brooks' song, Unanswered Prayers, fits him so well. See, freshman year, he applied for a position as a class officer, and he didn't receive it. It did not let him stop him from doing everything he could to make our class awesome by joining cabinet the next year he ran for class officer and this year he's our senior class president again he never gave up he has taken many advanced placement classes offered at miami palmetto senior high school passed the exams continues to work hard even today and is a member of our many clubs and many honor societies covid might have stopped us from doing all the events we wanted to do this year but it did not mean that we did not plan for them, just in case. 
He helped organize our senior shirts, teacher quiz bowl competition, and prom giveaway. It takes a leader who is calm, cool, and collected to make everything seem right, even when it's not. Andres Levantment has done this this year and more. And Duke will be lucky to have him as he moves on to his next part of his journey. It is an honor to bestow upon him the award for most outstanding senior student of the year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. G. And now to present our final award of the evening, the principal's award, our amazing principal, Ms. Victoria Dobbs. Thank you, Ms. Valero. The person I have selected this evening to receive my award, and this is my award, is someone I have literally watched grow up over the past four years. When I first met her in the ninth grade, I was so impressed with her poise, determination, and desire to make a difference in our community. She had a voice that was going to be heard. She has always known what she's wanted to say, what side of a debate she was on and has never been afraid to seek out the guidance on how best to get her point across. We have met over the years to discuss various topics. Unfortunately, most of them were difficult conversations, but necessary. With the bottom line always on how best to keep our school safe and our environment nurturing with equality for all. In addition to being wise beyond her years, she is a leader, a publisher, an editor, a protester, an amazing student with an unweighted 4.0 GPA, a capstone graduate, an entrepreneur, a philanthropist, and a Silver Knight nominee. She is just an all around amazing human being who I will continue to follow knowing that she is going to accomplish great things. Northwestern is lucky to be getting her. It is my pleasure this evening to give the principal's award to Nicole Marcus. Congratulations. And before I say good night, um, I wanna take a moment to thank Ms. Valero for organizing our senior awards, Mr. Nuremberg for helping us host, for all the teachers and administrators and counselors that are on with us this evening, and to our families, for making such exceptional children that help create Palmetto and make it such a special place. So thank you for joining us and have a great rest of your evening. Good night.